To improve the treatment of mental health and brain condition, we need to understand them better. And that's fundamentally what the Institute is about. The Institute tries to understand the origins of psychiatric illness and in doing so try to give us some glimpses or even better than that, a clearer understanding of the causes and progress and ideally treatments for those illnesses. The Institute brings together researchers from a variety of different disciplines who all work on various areas of neuroscience and mental health and helps us all collaborate together uh, so we can all improve and learn from each other. You know, one of the great things that the Institute does is to train the next generation of neuroscientists. The Institute is like a magnet that attracts the best talent in the world to work together to try to address the biggest challenges of our society. My research team studies human stem cells and we use these to particularly understand how the patient brain cells might act in the lab. I'm particularly interested in finding therapies for neurodegenerative diseases such as Huntington's disease and Parkinson's disease. My research is to focus on the ways in which the cells of the brain talk to one another. But this wonderful ability may also belie a susceptibility to the death that's seen in Parkinson's. So we want to understand what's going on early so we can change what's happening later on. One exciting thing we're working on in the Institute is how the immune system in the brain is controlling the formation of memories. I'm really excited about work that we're doing with people with genetic causes of mental health problems, using brain imaging to understand the changes of activity in their brain, and even looking at their brain cells, uh, developing assays that will help us look for the next generation of treatment. Genetics is important because psychiatric disorders, mental health conditions, all share the fact that they have a genetic basis. The most important point about genetics in a disease context is that it is disease related. And what that means is we can use the genetic information to genuinely begin to understand complex conditions, complex brain conditions like schizophrenia, and then once we understand these conditions, we can use that information to fix them. The Institute gives me the opportunity to work with world-leading scientists in the neuroscience field, but often doing different but related aspects of research to my own. I think they gave me the freedom to explore what I really want to. One major thing that the Institute does for me is provide me the space to work in. In bringing together a range of disciplines, the Institute has been really helpful for us in allowing us to access a range of expertise and experiences that we might not have previously had before. So it allows us to be really creative and innovative in the science that we want to take forward. At the professional level, it has provided me with an excellent state-of-art research infrastructure, accessibility to the patient samples, and at more personal level, it has given me the support in terms of mentoring and also integrating me into the wider neuroscience community. The Institute has been a global player in trying to understand the causes of mental health conditions. And I think it's something to be proud of because it puts Wales on the map. The Institute brings investment, of course, into Wales in terms of jobs, research interest, and also clinical trials that are being run currently here in Wales. The Institute couldn't be better placed for being in Wales. It meets some of the priorities of the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act by its focus on working with users, with communities, with patients to make a difference in ways that matter to them. I'm passionate about diversity, particularly in ensuring great representation throughout the career stages within the Institute. That includes um, not only women, but uh, ethnic diversities, different uh, scientific and clinical backgrounds, um, and different research interests. Growing diversity is at the heart of the Institute's drive towards the future. The understanding that more diversity creates better science is one of the things that the Institute truly understands and is driving towards becoming more inclusive in the future. I enjoy being part of the staff because of the diversity and inclusivity that they have here and that's what makes working for the Institute really great. 
We couldn't do this without the help of the Welsh Government and we have a strong relationship with the Welsh Government in developing the region and developing beyond the region and our interaction through the rest of the world. A particular way the Welsh Government helped us is through the Ser Cymru uh, programme which has allowed us to recruit people who are dedicated to developing new drugs for psychiatric disorders, the Medicines Discovery Institute and that's part of our larger institute. One of our important remits is to partner with commercial interests and this is to get the energy and processes of industry into our work so that we can turn our research into things that are useful for people. We've seen a time of great research progress in understanding neurological and mental health conditions. I think now the future holds the promise of taking that outside academia and working with colleagues in the NHS or in industry or in charities to make real impact from our discovery. I hope the future in neuroscience and mental health holds some opportunities for breakthrough in, in disease understanding and primarily therapies. Ultimately, I'm a clinician. I want more treatment options for the patients that I see. The future of the Institute is to take the science forward from discovery through to implementation and innovation. The Institute is building up from strength to strength. I think the future is very strong. I think not only will we be doing fundamental research, we'll be turning that into real world changes. I think it's currently a really, really exciting time to be in neuroscience and mental health research. I think there's a lot of breakthroughs that we're right on the cutting edge of. Um, and I think this institute will be an incredibly important part of things that will have a really long lasting legacy in neuroscience and mental health. My vision is to turn more and more of our fantastic research into things that help the general public. One word that sums up the Institute, optimism. Collaboration. Teamwork. Groundbreaking. Inspiring. Insieme. United. Innovative. Forward thinking. Change. Progressive. Diverse. Progress. Impact. Yourself. Friendly. Creativity. Outstanding. <laughs>